This is Lenovo IdeaPad 520s, 14 inch one. As you can see, the screen is completely shattered and we need to replace it. So today I'm going to show you step by step how to replace the screen. So the first step to replace any screen for laptop, you need to get the right replacement screen. First, check the model number of your laptop, then open up the old screen. And also you can check the screen model number, which should be printed right at the back of the screen. So first thing we need to do, we need to switch it off. If you can pull out the internal battery, that even more safer to do. But this model, I can just pull it off from the front, which is not suggested, but you can follow. Try to make sure your battery below 25%, you know. But it's always suggested to disconnect the internal battery so try to do that and then we're going to pull the front bezel out the front bezel is the plastic frame that covers the screen on its place so the front bezel made from plastic and right behind they use some sort of adhesive tape so without any screws it can hold into it Try to pull this out from in to out, okay? And follow the same steps, it should come out. Don't think it's that simple and easy because for me, it took about five to 10 minutes. But in video, it might show less than a minute. Don't think it's that much easy in practical. So once you pull out the front bezel, then there will be four screws, which we need to remove before we pull the screen out and be careful when you put it down the screen because the actual lcd flex cable is really short and if you pull the screen too close to you that might damage the screen plus the cable itself okay and once we remove the screen then we're going to check the model number just to make sure our new replacement also good so this flex cable Secure with some adhesive or the tape, gently pull it. Don't put too much pressure, otherwise you're going to damage the 30 pin connector pins, okay? By the way, try to follow step by step from the beginning to the end, and I believe you'd be very successful. And very careful when you use any sort of metal tools to handle this situation. All right, so that's the actual model number. You can take a print and order it for Lenovo IdeaPad 420S, I believe, 14 IKB, whatever the model is. And if you do have any question, guys, don't forget to leave it in the comment section. And if you find this video is helpful, please, please try to subscribe to this channel to show your support. By the way, can you see the replacement screen is a little bit different than I received? And there is no any screw holes, but the size is same and that is fully compatible. So I'm going to do a little bit DIY. The four screws are not too important. Instead, we can use double sided tape behind it. Okay, but if you can get the same one, it's much easier. Why? Because you don't need any adhesive. You can just put four screws on the four corner and that should be fine. But in case if you do receive this sort of same size of screen, then apply double sided tape around and put it into the place but before you put any sort of double-sided tape make sure you turn on the machine and check if the display the screen is working properly or not and don't forget to reseal this lcd connector because if its alignment is not correct you're not going to see any light or anything that's what happened to me once and then when i double checked i found the cable was not connected properly. The left side was connected, but right side was little gap in there. And as a result, I was not able to see any light. As you can see, it's really dark and it shows Lenovo. So what I done, I open it up and reconnected. So that is a kind of troubleshoot if you do face this sort of problem.